Hey guys, Andrew Strout. I'm here on the sideboard with John Kasari. How's it going today, man? I'm good. How are you? Cool. John is playing Bant Control today. So deck he has kind of been known for uh, here on the West Coast over the last couple years. Tell me a little about this deck and why you decided to play it. Uh, I've been playing it for around two to three years, uh, just for standard in general. Uh, I played at the Las Vegas Invitational. Originally, I had Fog in the main deck, and I'm kind of notorious for playing that card. But okay. uh, with the new meta, it hasn't been as impressive as it was in the past. All right, so cut the fogs. Yeah, you and I actually played uh, fairly late on day two of that tournament. You got me real good with fog. Uh, t today you are not playing fog. You actually have some new additions uh, from Born of the Gods. You have three Courser of Crufix and two Kiora, the Crashing Wave. Those cards kind of work together. They have some nice synergies uh, between the two of them, but they're also just workhorses in general. Uh, tell me a little about how those have been for you today and uh, sell, sell me on them. Yeah, uh, Courser of Crufix uh, in a control deck is probably your best friend because you're getting your land drops nearly every time. Uh, same with Kiora in a sense, and surprisingly they're like a combo together. Uh, because if the top card isn't a land, well you get to minus one Kiora and then hopefully the next card on top of your library is a land and you kind of ramp out and that's kind of my style of play, I would say. I love to ramp and uh, Courser is awesome because just alone, Yep. Each of them are awesome alone. Uh, Crufix, I would say, is a threat on its own because you need to hit your land drops, and they, they like Mono Black is most likely going to use their hero's downfall on him. Sure. Like he's his own like planeswalker. I would so it's, say. it's like a, a must answer threat that yes. you use to draw their hero's downfalls or detention spheres, so that you can keep Jace or Kiora. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also the dual lands, it kind of cancels it out just a little bit, like All a right. fraction. Fair enough. On the early turns. So you... And you recover that life. Okay, you, you shock yourself, but then you get the life back. Yeah, exactly. All right. And then, and of course, it's, it's very good with the Scrylands as well. Which oh, yeah, definitely. Life. Okay. And now, this is a card. It's not a new card, but uh, I did not see you play it in Las Vegas. Uh, I don't know if it's a new edition or not. It definitely piqued my interest. You have two Plasma Capture. Yeah. Or sorry, uh, Plasm Capture. Plasm Capture, yeah. How, how's that been for you? Uh, I love that card. It's so awesome in this deck. Uh, you can play it on turn three if you turn to uh, Sylvan Carotid. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why I can play it now in this meta is because the lands. You just got the five temples that I use, mm -hmm. the green-white and then the blue-white. Mm -hmm. So every land produces a mana that can hard ca or ca cast Plasm Capture. So. Right. You, you, we, uh, we were talking about new additions to Born of the Gods. And you, you actually said earlier that you thought probably the, the most important addition to this deck from Born of the Gods were the, the new temples. Yes, The, the blue-white temple and the green-white temple. Definitely. Okay, I can see that. Uh, tell me uh, tell me a little about this deck's matchups. This is kind of a this is a, a, an archetype a lot of people aren't familiar yeah. with. What are you hoping to play against when you're playing this deck? Uh, I'm hoping to play against Mono Blue, which I haven't seen too much yet. Uh -huh. um, I haven't lost to it, really. Maybe right. once or twice, but it's I play enough, and that matchup's like... Really good. Very, and very same good with for okay. same with Mono Black, I would say, because of Cru Crufix and Kiora, like it just adds more threats. Uh -huh. And they can only play four heroes downfall. So like eventually you're gonna play an Elspeth and they're not gonna be able to answer. Alright. So you can kind of overwhelm their answers. Alright, so what what are what's your worst matchup? What are you really dreading? Uh today I lost to Burn, uh sure. red white burn. It was a close matchup because uh, like in game two I get Archangel Thune and uh What's that enchantment called? The uh, two mana one? Two mana enchantment in the board. I'm so bad with names. Bl blind obedience. Blind obedience. That we're for? Yeah, okay. blind obedience. That card's <laughs> really good against the haste creatures, and you get some value with sure. other cards you play. So you, you have some some life gain uh, post board, and you, of course you have the four revelations in the main as well. The but, real uh, yeah. The real reason why I lost that match is because I sphinx for four, and they have main bur main deck um, skull crack. Sure. So I was just. I was devastated by that. Yeah, Skullcrack does seem very good against you, for sure. You have like Planeswalkers that can be killed with it. You have a lot of life gain that can be turned around with it. I can see that being tough. Uh, let's let's take a look at the board real quick. Uh, you were quick to point out that you have three Mistcutter Hydra in the board. You said that's one of the biggest reasons that you have been playing Bant instead of things like Esper or Straight Blue White. Yes. Uh, you also have three Archangel of Thune and two Aetherling to go with your one Aetherling in the main. So you actually have eight 
uh, creatures in the board, mm -hmm. all of which can win a game by themselves in the right post board spot. Right. So is that that kind of a it's a key component of your yeah board, your against different board. matchups? Like I would say the hydras become a lot better against obviously mono blue. It's like they can't really answer it, and then against uh, the control decks, like especially blue white. Uh, they end up boarding out all their Supreme Verdicts, and you kind of get them because, uh, I mean, they, they still have Elspeth as an out, but they have less outs, sure. I would say. And uh, for Archangel, I would say is awesome against, like, the red-green monster right. deck. Because, the, like, like the blue-white matchup, they have to sideboard, like, really awkwardly, mm -hmm. where they keep in, like, Mizium orders just to like the, the, the answer you have, you have four sort of perfect so they have to keep some in but they, the card's not good yeah exactly generally, but then you kind of overload it yeah so sure. it's, okay. it's the sideboard like to sideboard against this deck you can kind of like play around to your favor and sure. some, some matchups yeah, you, you can you can be the aggressor by jamming a bunch of creatures yes. or you can go back to being the planeswalker sphinx's revelation control deck yep. depending on what you expect to see yep. yeah so it seems like a like a solid flexible plan there uh we just finished round five is that right mm -hmm. yes and you are four and one yep uh, what all what all be played against today? Uh, first round, red, red, white, burn, and right. that's my that, loss. That was your loss. Uh, second round, I played against red, green, monster. Or no, it was Jun monsters. Uh -huh. So they had red board, which is a little bit difficult. But sure. uh, third round, I played against humans, Esper humans, and then I played against green, white, your deck. Okay. All right. And then the last round, I played against. Uh, I don't know. It's black, oh, white, white, red. white, black, red. Yeah, I, I put that one on camera. I remember that. Okay, cool. So you're four one. We are, I guess, halfway done with the tournament. So you're not quite within sniffing distance yet, but right. you've, uh, you've you've covered some good ground. Uh, I'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the day, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stick around. We will be bringing you guys more coverage of the Standard Open here in Los Angeles.